So over the past year or so, I've been properly uh, outfitting my electronics lab. And, uh, well, I got to thinking it's time to start calibrating all my equipment. So here my precision DC source thinks it's at 1.0000 volts, whereas my BK Precision 2706A thinks it's 0.964, my classic Radio Shack thinks it's 0.967, and my Tektronix 468 storage oscilloscope thinks it's 0.976. So uh, obviously we have a problem. So I started looking around and uh, since I'm a hobbyist I don't need a very high precision uh, calibration or any certificates or anything like that. So I found this DMM check thing from voltage reference. Oh, sorry, <laughs> voltagestandard.com, and it's as you can see there. It's a 0 0.01 5 volt reference, uh, 1.000 milliamp current source, and you know three um, 25 ppm resistors that you can measure. Um, and actually, I went for the 10 ppm option. Uh, just three dollars more and for a total of right now 38.50 looks like I got the last one or the last well, next to the last one because I just ordered it and they're back ordered but anyways uh, I'm sure they'll be back soon so check them out if you need that uh, functionality so I'm gonna tear this thing open and do some calibration I'm pretty sure that this will be easy to calibrate this is definitely easy to calibrate I've already got the instructions same with this. I have no idea what will happen to this one, so uh, I suppose we'll try and see what happens. I've had this thing for eh, about half my life. Alright, well here it is. Uh, I won't review the actual unit uh, myself because it's already been done, um, but I'll just do a quick overview. Uh, it comes with a piece of paper with all the information. It's been burned in for 624 hours. Calibrated at 70F, and here's all the values of the resistors and things like that. Uh, it comes with a nice battery. No golden power here. Battery just clips in there. You get your 5 volt reference here, your 1 milliamp current reference there, and your three resistors there up here where you can measure them with your multimeter. So let's snap this in and see what our meters tell us. Alright, so I've let the thing warm up for a couple minutes and I've hooked it up to my BK Precision and it looks like it's spot on. I might not even need to calibrate this. Let's try the uh, resistances real quick. Let's see, so this resistor here is supposed to be uh, 998.8 this is 996, so it's reading a bit low, but uh, still pretty good. Let's read the 10K. This one's actually 9.995K. 9 9 this one reads 9.95, again a little low. And finally, let's try the 100.08K. Hmm, this one's reading quite a bit low, so I might need to calibrate the resistance of this thing. Finally, let's try the current. So this is supposed to be 1 milliamp. And we get, oh, pretty much exactly right. So just looks like I need to calibrate the uh, resistance measurement on the BK Precision. But it's pretty close anyways. All right, so the Radio Shack is reading a bit high at 5.02. Not entirely surprising given its age. It's at least, uh, oh, 12 years old. So let's try the milliamps. that in there. Wow, actually, that is perfect. 
Good job, Radio Shack. It's bouncing around quite a bit, but still pretty good. All right, let's try ohms. All right, so this is the 999.8 ohm. Okay, a bit high. This is the 9.995k. Again, rather high. And finally, the 100.08k. Okay, well, this one, well, uh, I think this one's reading low as well. I'll call that low. All right, time to go and calibrate things. Oh, I suppose I should see what this guy says as well. Might as well. All right, let's see what this thing is doing. So I've got it on ground coupling right now. That's what 5 volts is supposed to be. So let's switch this over. And, well, it's reading a bit low. What's our real reading? Well, we're reading it's time to calibrate. So, uh, all right. So let's try it in the non-storage mode. Push that ground coupling again. Tweak that up there. All right. There goes the microphone. It's cool. Anyways, and well, actually, that is pretty much exactly right. So it's only the digital add-on here that's uh, not just right, but it should be possible to bring that into calibration. I actually haven't read the instructions for doing that. I read all the instructions for calibrating the analog stuff, but it looks like that's perfect. So, yeah. Alright, so that's enough for this video. It's already getting kind of long. So uh, what I'll do is I'll upload all the videos uh, that show what I did to calibrate all of these pieces of equipment uh, in their own little individual videos so that it's easy for you to uh, just see what you want to. So if this BK Precision is kind of boring for you, well, then you can see something else. Alright, thanks.